Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. So you're playing video challenge for May 22nd, 2021. The character of this island and the mod for Star Chimera. You're starting to see a fusion of all characters. Time dilation, all enemies start with the slow debuff. And terminal, whatever you enter in your room, lose one max HP. Start each combat with five plated armor. Vorpal in second place, tied with third place. Really good score. Let me review my score from yesterday, which... Oh, okay, I ended up 18th. Uh, remember, this was the score where I died on Act 3 and had to reload a few times to be able to survive. But once I survived, I was able to get a pretty good score out of it. And actually, I'm tied with Cobalt. Very nice. All right, let's move on to today's run. So Chimera, Time Dilation, Terminal. I used to have a lot of trouble with Chimera. But I think ever since they added the Watcher card, it's just the Eruption they added. That did help quite a bit. So I got one Vash, Survivor, Zap, and Eruption. One from each cloth, and then three strikes in the three defense. And with the silent and time dilation, I probably want to try to pivot to a shift deck. I also will go for collector bonuses, so no need to try to go for the Highlander modifier. And only one, two two lead paths. On the right side, if I stick in the middle, I'll get five question marks. If I stick on the far right, I'll get way less than that. So let's start here and then I'll pivot right. All right, so uh, probably don't want to do eruption unless I can kill, which I cannot. So let's just do double strike and survivor. Actually, yeah, I have to remember to play the uh, skills first before I play um, the attack so I can trigger the time dilation. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, 12, and this is enough. Good. All right, slice, deflect, or backflip. A uh, backflip is decent, but um, yeah, let's focus a little bit more on offense. So let's take the slice. And then here is curse number one, as well as the smiling mask. The merchant's card removal server is not always cost 50 gold. Okay. And a bunch of gold for HP. And here, uh, I don't have a shop upcoming, so uh, let me lose 84 gold. 84 gold for relics is not bad. We got Molten Egg. Whenever you add an attack into a deck, upgrade it very good this early on. That's basically what, floor four? All right, 11 incoming. Let's do Survivor and um, let's do Bash and Slice. Okay. Wait, who's my final boss here? Not the Hexagos. Okay, so I don't have to lose too much HP. Uh, let me actually do an Eruption here. I should be able to kill fairly easily next turn. Um, I think two attacks would be enough. Uh, yep, that's good. All right. Okay, Deadly Poison, Endless Agony, up Maneuver. I, uh, I kind of want to go with the Endless Agony. Deadly Poison might help against the Guardian, but let's go with the Endless Agony and hope that I get something else to help with the Guardian before I get there. Uh, probably want to start with Eruption. I think that's pretty much the only way I can uh, perfect this one. So let's do... It's going to be hard, but let's try it. So Eruption and Strike. Okay. Actually, it's going to be impossible, right? Because I need to deal... Yeah. Okay. Theoretically, it might have been possible, but practically, it's impossible. Do I want to play Defend? Um, well, I have the energy, too. Let's do that. And then let me go from smallest to... Oh, it's all the same damage. All right, fine. So then the order doesn't matter, too. Never mind. I was able to perfect this one. Good. Got my trash card. The next two numbers chest you open contain two relics, as well as a Liquid Memories potion and... Quick, well, actually, if I'm going for collector bonuses, then another slice is not a bad idea. Or should I go with quick slash? Let's go with quick slash. I would like some more card draw at this point. All right, cultist. Also very happy with getting the eruption this early on here. Okay. Got a swift potion. All at attack is a great AOE card. I have a lot of attacks. I should really start worrying about defensive cards. Okay, good thing I got the all out attack here. Um, yep, and I will play in the first turn. I... This doesn't count against my perfect, but let's try to preserve some HP. So I'll do defend, um, quick slash, see what I get. And then the endless agonies and all out attack. Almost kills, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so as long as I have one defensive card in each hand, yep. I can do slice, double strike, okay. And two strikes will kill this guy. Or, ooh, do I want to do Eruption? Uh, you know what? Let's risk it. Let's do Eruption, and then all attack will actually kill everything, right? All right. We got Blood Vial. As average combat, heal 2 HP, as well as... Uh, there's a Blade Dance. Okay, fine. Let me take the Blade Dance, but now all my other cards should really be defensive. We got Centennial Puzzle. The first time you lose HP, each combat draw three cards. And Mercury Hourglass, at start return, deal three damage to all enemies. Okay. So, do I want to upgrade the Eruption? It's a little dangerous because I won't be able to exit Wrath. No, I don't think I'll do that. Let's instead upgrade the Blade Dance with the um, with the 
a time dilation modifier, having an extra shiv out of it would be pretty useful. Okay, 12 incoming. I feel like I should be able to kill everything here, right? That's this Agony's Blade Dance. And then um, let's do shiv, shiv. Uh, strike would kill this guy, right? So shiv, shiv, and then strike, strike. Okay. Alright, Massive will stab. No, no, no. I said I want defensive cards, so let's pick something like backflip. Okay, sentries again. Alright, so nine incoming. Uh, definitely gonna... P oh, did I not draw a defensive card? Uh, hang on, can I kill this guy? I feel like I should be able to, right? Um, so I have... How many? Seven cards, so I can do blade dance. So all attack is 14. Oh, they, they don't have the slow debuff. So this is going to be 14 plus 16, which is 30. And then Endless Agony is enough. Okay. So let's do Endless Agony and then the Shivs. Okay. And then maybe I should have done the Quick Slash first. All right. And then all attack. Okay. So far, so good. Next turn, I either have to kill the Frontliner or defend against 18. Uh, yeah, I can kill the Frontliner. Very nice. Okay. I have to admit, I got relatively lucky with the card draw. Uh, bash, strike, and slice for a kill. Good. Okay, strike dummy. Cards containing strike deal three additional damage, as well as a cunning potion and another blade dance. Fine. Wasn't offered any defensive card anyway. Okay. All right. All attack kills everybody. Good. Weakness potion might be better uh, against the guardian. It might be better than the... Uh, I'm actually I like all of these. Let's let's skip the weakness potion. Um, heal hook would be great if I had any sorts of weakness. Let's go with another backflip. Okay. All right, acid slime. Um, I can just do blade dance. Uh, let's start with the bash actually, and then shift shift. I think that should be enough to transform. Yep. Okay. Not transforming at the best value though, but I still have the all out attacks in my draw pile, right? Is it? Yeah, it's coming up next turn. Uh, I hang on. Let's do blade dance again. I can play everything, right? So let's do zap, and then this is ten. Hang on. Let's target somebody else first. Uh, wait. So this is four. Let's target the backliner first. Okay. So this is up to twelve, and then I need another ten, right? Which would be. I don't think I can really do it. Let's do twelve, and then shiv, slice. Yeah, this is enough. Good. All right, Lex Sweep. Yeah, that's a great defensive. That's exactly what I need against a Guardian. I just have to make sure I draw it relatively frequently. Let's upgrade that right away, actually. Okay, the extra turn of weakness, the extra block is going to be pretty useful. Okay, I don't think I can enter Wrath here, sadly. Yeah, I cannot. Uh, I could do Zap. Some, a little bit of damage each turn. You know what? Why not? And then play the Shivs, and then all-out attack for uh, transformation. Sure. Okay. All right, nine incoming. Uh, do I want to do backflip? No, actually, let's keep. Let's try to draw the leg sweep next turn. So I think I'll just do double defend. So I have fifteen. I can do two attacks. Let's do one let endless agony because I don't want to have both. And then slice. Okay. Mm -hmm, Sixteen. Yep, leg sweep. Perfect timing. And I can just do a regular attack. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. 12 incoming, right, he's still weakened. Um, I actually need to draw some defensive cards here. Yeah, defend is good. Let's do that. Endless Agony and all attack, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, actually he's transforming here, good. Uh, let me, do I need to, I mean, I guess I can do Bash and Strike. Or Blade Dance, actually, that will do more damage, right, with slow debuff as well, okay. Still have the Lex Sweep in my drop pile, right? Uh, okay, it's gonna come up next turn, that's fine. Let's do Zap, Survivor, and uh, I can do a regular strike, okay. All right, I'm getting lucky with the Lex Sweep draw. Uh, all out attack is good, okay. And then another 12, uh, double Blade Dance, is that gonna be enough? So it's going to be 24 with the slow debuff. It might not be quite enough. Hang on, hang on. So 24, let's let's round up to 30. Uh, 7 times 4 shifts, right? And then uh, this is 42, 48. I think it should be enough, right? Yeah, let's do Blade Dance 1, Blade Dance 2. Then play all the shivs. 
Oh, actually, it's more than enough. Yeah, yeah, I was... Okay, yeah, that's enough to kill. Good. Okay, so do I want to go for the popper modifier? I am unsure. Corpse Explosion is nice. Adrenaline is nice. I don't think I desperately need any of those, but it would help. Let's try to go for the popper modifier. As long as it's not after image, I think I should be fine, right? So let's skip this one. All right, and then here, I don't discard things enough. I just have the Survivor and the All Out Attack that discard things, right? So I don't think that's worth it. Um, the Hovering Kite, I mean. Tiny House, I guess. Yeah, not a big fan. Let's go with the Tiny House. I'm going to pick up, obtain one potion, gain 50 gold, raise your max speed by five, obtain one card, and upgrade one random card. Got the Backflip upgraded, an Explosive Potion, which I don't need, and another Blade Dance? Sure, sure, let's do another Blade Dance. All right. Okay, I so it's not great to not have an energy relic, but I think this deck should be in a good position to survive here without energy, extra energy at least. All right, three lead path. Unfortunately, not many question marks on that path, but let's go there. There's an early shop on the way. Okay, so 12 incoming. Let's do backflip. And then I have to free up my hand before I play the blade dances. So let's do the endless agonies and then blade dance. And then I'll probably finish up with an all out attack. All right. Mm -hmm. 10 incoming. I don't think I can do eruption. Let's do blade dance, survivor, and then zap as well as the shivs. Mm -hmm. Okay, another 12. Uh, this should be enough, right? All right. Okay, dagger spray flying near piercing well. Piercing well is really good. Um, dagger spray is also good with the time dilation. Let's go with the piercing well though. Yeah, I feel like I have too many offensive cards and not enough defenses. Here, I'll get the gold. Probably don't need Ritual Dagger, although that was pretty early for Ritual Dagger. Ooh, Prismatic Shard. If I was going for the Highland Modifier, that might not have been a bad idea. Choke and Backstab are actually both really good. Let's take both. I'm seriously considering the Infinite Blades as well because of Time Dilation. Let's take it. And Deflect is also pretty good. That was actually a really good shop. Uh, do I need any of the Relics? I don't think so. Maybe Ancient T Set, but... I guess Ancient T set is not a bad idea because my opening hand is larger thanks to the Ring of the Snake. Let's do it, although I'm not happy about it. So whenever you enter rest side, start next combo with two extra energy. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's do backstab, backflip, see if I can get anything good. No, I think, I don't even know if I should do leg sweep. Probably not. Let's just do zap strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. 10 incoming, let's do... Oh, choke doesn't even work either. All right, um, backflip again. Okay, and then strike on the chokes. Okay, still have the cunning potion, so if I am about to take too much damage, I think I'll just do that. Um, actually, I think I'm fine here, right? All right, got a block potion. Okay, I have to get rid of something here. Let's get rid of the liquid memories. Dagger spray, bane, or acrobatics. Acrobatics, not a bad idea. Yeah, lots of card draw. Would be better if I had extra energy, of course, but... All right. Uh, 20 incoming. Let's do backstep first, then backflip. Probably should have done the backflip at the end, actually. You know what? Let's fully defend. No reason to take any damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, do I want to do eruption? Is that too too risky? Yeah, there's a significant chance it'll be, it'll be fine. Let's see. Yeah, let's do the endless agonies and slice. Okay. I think the backline is guaranteed to just try to heal, and I should be able to kill the frontliner here. 24, actually 18 is enough as well. All right, blade dance. Okay. Yep, and then here I'll just need one strike, right? Good. Got a poison potion, which again, I don't think I'll need an upgraded infinite blades. I did not... Yeah, I picked the one up, but it wasn't upgraded. I could also take a Collector Mode for Blade Dance, but I'm just going to hope I'll get another one. Let's get the upgraded Infinite Blades. Okay, and then rest before or after a regular fight. Let's do before. That allowed me to upgrade something. So I will i don't think I'll upgrade the second Infinite Blades. That's probably too much. Let's upgrade the Blade Dance again. Maybe a Bash upgrade would not be a bad idea either. Okay. All right, none of these have the slow debuff. So let's do... Uh, Eruption is tempting. Yeah, let me... I have a lot of energy here, right? One, two, three, four... Actually, four, five. Okay, so let's play the skills first. Infinite Blades, Piercing Whale, another Infinite Blades. And then, hang on, this will be 30. 39, that's enough to kill this guy. 
and endless agony is you. Okay. So I have 20 incoming. Can I kill here? Uh, hang on. So 24 plus the blade dance might be enough. Okay. Oh man, having having wrath is so nice. We got a duplication potion, which again is too valuable to let go. So let's take it over the swift swift potion, and a second leg sweep definitely. Okay, taskmaster and the slavers. This one might be a little hard to do with <laughs> with the uh, with entering wrath here. So let me see if I do enter wrath for whatever reason. Uh, no, even the duplication potion would help. Although the cunning potion, that'll be twelve times three, right? So hang on, so those will be 30 plus 12. No, it'll be 30 plus 9. No. Hang on, 30 plus 18? I'll kill one of them. And then another 12 times 2, which is 24. No, no, it won't be enough. Yeah, I won't be able to fully defend. So then let's instead do leg sweep. Hang on, can I kill the backliner? 19. If I do leg sweep, I'll be fully defended, right? Yeah, so if I can kill the backliner, he does have the slow debuff. Uh, all right, let's do leg sweep. Hang on, hang on. Let me actually calculate this. So 15 plus another 12 is 27 plus another 18 is 45. Yeah, that's enough. I didn't even account for the slow debuff. Yeah, okay. So then let's leg sweep you. And then um, I could also piercing well, right? I for some reason think of that. Maybe wait, should I do piercing well? Because then it all comes down to four plus seven. Yeah, let's do piercing well. That way I can keep the cunning potion for later. Okay. Let's do backstab and the endless agony. Should have reordered that. Should have done the backstab at the end. Okay. Alright, so now I have 16. Assuming I can kill the backliner, which I should be able to, and I don't have enough block, right? Ooh, do I want to use the block potion? I might have to. Let's do blade dance. And then, um, well, yeah, I only got 15 block. And there's no way I can kill, right? So let's use the block potion. Instead, I'll do a bash here. Okay, stretch, shift, shiv, and then double shift here and use the block potion. All right. Mm -hmm. Another 12. Uh, yeah, I think choke is appropriate here. Let's do choke, then blade dance, deflect. And then I'll do shiv, shiv, and double shiv here. Okay. All right, perfect this one. Thanks to one potion. We got do it all for each curse index. Start combo with one strength. I currently have one curse. Uh, yeah, let's try to go for a collective most on endless agony. Oddly some stone. Start combo with one dexterity. And white beast statue. Potions always appear in combat rewards. Very nice on both. Uh, well, this would give me a collector bonus. And I wouldn't lose max HP. Sure. Oh, but okay, so right now my strikes actually deal 9 damage instead of 6. And these would only deal 7 damage, but they would also allow me to heal. And give me 25 points. Yeah, fine, fine, let's do that. Okay. Alright, Book of Stabbing. 12 incoming. Uh, I uh, cannot fully defend against this, right? Yeah, sadly, if I had the block potion, that would have been enough. Yeah, because I cannot fully defend, I won't even attempt. Yeah, so let's do infinite blades, blade dance. All right, fine. I'll do one defend at least. All right, so let's go lowest to highest here. Okay. All right. Okay, 18. Do I want to do choke here? I would love to do leg sweep instead. Yeah, I think I should do leg sweep instead. Let's do leg sweep and then um, deflect and the attacks. Okay. Yeah, just the fact that he's weak in the next two turns as well is going to be a big help. And of course, I drew the piercing well in the wrong turn. Let's do quick slash first, see what I draw. All right, probably just going to do two blade dances. Sure. Shiv, one more blade dance, and then all these shivs. Oh, actually, that was enough to kill. Good. Got paper crane, enemies with weak deal 40% less damage rather than 25. Huge, as well as a weak potion. That should help. Let's take a predator. Okay. Alright, Sneko, let's do... I kind of want to get rid of the Regret, but no, let's do Leg Sweep, Infinite Blades, and then get rid of the Zero Cost cards. Okay. Not happy with how the Regret is constantly triggering the Centennial Puzzle. Four incoming, another Leg Sweep, yep. And then I could just do Bite, heal back up a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm, 13. Uh, yeah, Choke is fine, I guess. Choke, Backflip. 
And uh, free Endless Agony is nice. Shiv, and that's good. Mm -hmm. I should be able to kill here. Just need another bite. It's good. Nice. Okay. Got a Gambler's Brew, which uh, I, I like the potions I have. Cloak and Dagger. Great. Great for the slow debuff. Okay. These guys again. All right. Eight incoming. Let's do Leg Sweep. Uh, sure. Leg Sweep. I'll do Blade Dance and then Attacks. Okay. Alright, the backline is not healing, so I should be able to kill this guy next turn. Uh, yep, I can do Cloak and Dagger, Blade Dance, and let's see what backflip gives me. Oh, perfect. Alright, I was um, hoping not to take too much damage from the Regret, but looks like I won't. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I should be able to kill with uh, just a bite, and a second bite, and a shift, okay. Alright, got a region push, which I definitely don't need. A second predator. Let's take a second cloak and dagger. Might be slightly more valuable. Okay, Grim Leader. Who's not attacking me in the first turn? I could do. Hang on. Can I do something good with choke? Uh hmm. So I could bite one of them, backstab the other. Yeah, let's do choke, bite, and backstab. This guy's Oh right, I forgot about the sleep slow debuff. I thought the um Mercury Aglas will kill him next turn. Okay, so here let's do leg sweep and all out attack. Oh, that's so nice to not have that curse. And then here, blade dance. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do shiv, shiv, then bite. Okay, and I don't think it makes sense to do acrobatics here. Yeah, the odds are low that I'll draw a zero cost card, so let's just move on. Okay, so here, let's see what the backflip gives me first. Cloak and Dagger. And then, um, yeah, it doesn't matter what I play here, but let's play something and then just play the Endless Agonies. Okay, I still have the uh, Cunning Potion, that might help. And he's still not attacking though. Yeah, I think overall I got really lucky with the attack pattern there. All right. I think so far I'm still perfecting everything. Oh, uh, no, am I? I think there was one elite I missed, right? Yeah, the, the Book of Stabbing just before. Now, sure, can every time play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. That's huge for me, because I have a lot of attacks. Sucker Punch, Flying Knee, or Noxious Fumes. This is probably not the right deck for Noxious Fumes. Let's go with the Sucker Punch, especially since I have the Paper Crane. Not too bad. If I knew I was going to get these, I would have taken the Heal Hook. Probably don't need to upgrade the Infinite Blades, although this upcoming boss doesn't attack on the first turn, so maybe it's not a bad idea. Now, let's stick with the Blade Dance. Okay. All right, Collector, let's see what you got. All right, uh, I can do backflip, I have the energy. And uh, the quick slash. Okay, let's do infinite blades. Do I want to do acrobatics? Yeah, sure. Okay, too bad I can't do the predator, but I can do blade dance. Let's do it off the backstab, okay. All right. Okay, got three strengths, uh, three strength out of that and uh, was able to set up well, so. Not too shabby, and then of course I get a turn like this. Um, there's not much I can do here, right? I mean, the most block... Uh, hang on, hang on, actually. If I do Piercing Well, I'll get uh, 13, 14. And then I only have 11, so I think I have to duplicate the Piercing Well. There's no other way I can uh, fully defend here, right? And then I could actually do Choke as well. Yeah, so let's do Choke. Then duplicate the Piercing Well. Okay. Alright, and then I'll do... I don't even want to attack this. Sh no, no, I messed up. Alright, fine, I also have to throw the weakness potion. I forgot that I still needed to play a defensive card. Let me do this as well. Uh, uh, at least I'm dealing a good amount of damage, so that's good. Okay. Now I don't have any potions, though. Luckily, the backline is not attacking, so that's nice. Uh, let's see, I still have to defend against 14... Um, I have Deflect and Backflip. Let's do that. Okay. And then here, I think I'll do uh, Sucker Punch and Blade Dance, right? So Blade Dance first. And then the Shivs and Sucker Punch at the end. Alright, never mind. Okay, I was able to perfect, but had to use all of my potions, which is fine. Got a Flex Potion, which I'll take. And then, yeah, Adrenaline would have been nice, but uh, you know what? Oh, actually, Venom would have been nice too. But yeah, let's move on. Let's try to go for that proper modifier. 
Here, I probably have to go with the Calling Bell up and pick up between Unique Curse and three Relics. I got Curse of the Bell and then Happy Flower. Every three turns get extra energy. Blue Candle, which is great. Uh, unplayable Curse Cards cannot be played. When we play Curse with 1 HP and Exhausted. And Captain's Wheel at the start of your third turn, gain 18 block. Also pretty good. Yeah, Blue Candle together with the Centennial Puzzle and the fact that I have two Curses already. Now, ideally, I would like to pick up more. One, two. Looks like they're... Oh, no, there's a three lead path. Okay, and that one does have three early question marks. So, hoping for that two normalities event. All right, two spikers here, which might be a little annoying. Let's start with backflip. Uh, Predator. Uh, let me... Hmm, hang on. Actually, I could only play zero cost cards if I want to play the Predator. So, I don't think I can kill one of them with that. Let's do... Uh, fine, I'll take some damage. Let's do backstab you... No, it's not going to be enough, right? Let's just kill one of them. All right, that's fine. Wasting a little bit of um, damage, but it's okay. Okay, so here I can do Leg Sweep and then All Out Attack. That seems like a great idea. Uh, actually, hang on. So All Out Attack will deal back eight damage to me. So I can do another six, right? Yeah, so let's do Endless Agony, Endless Agony. And then I'll do All... Actually, I have a Deflect too. Oh, it doesn't matter. All right. Maybe the eruption would be a great idea here. All right, so here I have some block. Uh, let's kill a U and then see what I draw. Choke is great, and then I can do Endless Agony. Okay, good. A Blessing of the Forger, which I probably won't need. Let's take another Sucker Punch. And no, I can't lose 400 gold for a Relic. It's a little too much. I don't have a guaranteed shot, but I am hoping for something. Neutralize is not a bad idea. Dark Shackles would be great. Very happy to get that. You know what? Let's take Neutralize too. And then I don't want bullet time. That's a little risky. Do I want setup? It would be better if I had card draw. No, I don't think I want setup. All right. I didn't think I was a curse in this. Must have missed it. Okay. No curses so far, which makes the chance of me getting five curses actually very slim. I only have one more question mark coming up. Yeah. All right. So let's start. I do have the blade dances. Let's do... Endless Agonies. Wait, can I defend here? Let's target this guy then. Alright, then Blade Dance 1. And then Shiv. This is already at 25, so that's enough to kill. Let's target another one then. Another Blade Dance. Shiv. Sh and then target one more. And then here I can kill you and you. Alright, first turn kill. Got a Colorless Potion and another Acrobatics. I'll take it. Okay. So, Backliner is attacking again. Yeah, Dark Shackles is actually really good. Let's play that first. Okay. Then Blade Dance and then Deflect. I have two energy, so I'll probably do a Bite and Infinite Blades. Okay. And then let's target one who's not attacking me. It's 30 damage already here. Let's do this and then backstab this guy. And then I can... Uh, let's kill the stronger one. Okay. Alright, 17. Um, another blade dance. Yeah, the blade dances are really helping me here. 13 is enough. And then the shivs. Okay. Got a speed potion, which I don't think I'll need. Flying knee, bane. Definitely not bane. Between flying knee and circulate, calculated gamble. Do I want calculated gamble? It would draw me one less card because, you know, I'm using it to draw me something. Flying knee is not a bad idea, though. Who's my boss here? Awaken one. Let's take the calculated gamble. All right, Nemesis, who's not attacking me. I cannot do Eruption here, sadly. So let's just do... Actually, Sucker Punch, I think, is important. Let's do Predator and Sucker Punch. Um, let me start slow to high. So Sucker Punch first, then Backstab, then Predator. Okay. Yeah, having him be weakened next turn is very important. If he does the big attack, yeah. 27 incoming and no real defense. Um, let me see if I can draw something good with the Regret. Okay. Oh, Leg Sweep is 15. Hang on, I can't get... I don't think I can get to 27. Let's do Leg Sweep and Cloak and Nagger. That's the best I can do in terms of defense, right? Oh, it's exactly 27. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Not getting attacked here. Let's do Slice and another... Int well, let's see what Backflip gives me. Uh, yeah, let's actually do Bash and then the Upgraded Bite. Okay. Mm-hmm. And 9 incoming, that should be much more doable. Yep, especially if I get a Cloak and Dagger. 
Let's do shiv shiv bite. Mm -hmm. Another nine. Uh, piercing Whale is great here. Uh, let's do Deflect so I don't even need the Piercing Whale, but might as well. No, re no reason to play anything else. And then Bite and All-Out Attack. Okay. Okay, not getting attacked. I feel like I should be able to kill here. And the slow debuff doesn't matter, of course, when the enemy is intangible anyway. I do get a bunch of strength this way, though. Okay. Alright, one attack should be enough, right? I'm up to nine strength already. And... All right, fine. A shiv is enough too. Okay, got mobbing. Whenever you climb a floor, gain twelve gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shop. Very unfortunate that it's literally going to be my next floor is a shop. Another deflect. Let's take it. Okay. And yeah, I, I mean, I have to buy stuff here. Do I want something bottled or a power? Not really. Let's do another leg sweep. That'll be my third, right? Uh, yes. So let's do my third leg sweep. Third sucker punch. I'm not sure if I need dagger spray. Although with the extra strength I have, might not be a bad idea. Yeah, I think I'll do Sucker Punch, and then let's take the Anchor, Sarge Combo with 10 block, and Stealing of Courage, Sarge Combo, Elite Combo with 2 Strength, okay. And then I, oh, I thought I could afford a potion. Do I want Footwork? No, the final boss is the Awakened one, so I don't want an extra power, and actually, having extra Dex is nice. Fine, let me get it. Might as well, chances are I'm not going to use the gold for anything else. Okay. Alright, Giant Head, uh, let me see if I can deal enough damage here. Let's start with the Choke. Okay, and then get rid of this, see what I draw. Alright, so then I think I'll play everything and the all-out attack. Okay, maybe this wasn't like the best turn for the choke, but um, yeah, let's do all-out attack. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, 13, uh, Cloak and Dagger is not enough. Survivor is enough. Uh, let's get rid of the Regret, actually. And then uh, I could do both, right? I have energy for everything. So let's do Cloak and Dagger, Blade Dance. Then the Shivs. Then Bite. And then Survivor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here, I uh, between Leg Sweep and Predator, I'm not sure. Let's go with the Predator. I'll do Cloak and Dagger, Shiv, Shiv, and Predator. Mostly because I still have two Leg Sweeps in the deck. I'm hoping to draw them next. 13. Okay. Deflect is good. Probably backflip as well. Alright, and then I can do the Endless Agonies. Blade Dance. Play the Shivs. And then a Bite. Okay. I'm getting close. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to deal either more than 100 damage or play more than 25 cards, but let's do Leg Sweep, Dark Shackles, and then uh, Zap, Neutralize, and Sucker Punch. Okay. All right, and uh, at this point, I feel like I should be ready. Uh, yeah, I can do just bash and sucker punch. Good. Okay, you got the boot. Whenever you deal four or less unlocked attack damage, increase it to five. A fire potion, you know what? I'll take that over the flex potion. And uh, not a fan of either. Maybe the poison stab. I do need to get to 50 cards, although. Yeah, fine. Let's take the poison stab. Got Frozen Egg, whenever you add a power card to your deck, upgraded. Probably not going to happen with the Awakened one at the end. Alright, Reptomancer. Hang on, I have 23. Yeah, I need a 24th Relic. Or 25th, this will be my 24th. Okay, so, um, Predator. Wait, uh, I might actually, well, hang on. I will take damage, so I have to use the Predator on one of the minions. Okay. And then let's do infinite blades and backs. Uh, you know what? Let's kill all the minions. Okay. Don't have to worry about those. Alright, this guy's not attacking. That's good. Let's do choke. And then cloak and dagger twice. Okay. So, uh, hang on. Let's do another cloak and dagger. Alright, so this is 10 and I need 11. Perfect. And then shiv, 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 slice and neutralize. And do I want to, you know what? Calculate Gamble will deal 5 extra damage, and never mind. 15 extra. Actually, that's enough to kill. Awesome. Alright, perfect. This one we got Lantern, so I just come with additional energy, as well as a Poison Potion, which I don't think I'll need. And, I mean, fine, let's go for another uh, Poison Stab. And then between these question marks, I'm not sure. I guess it makes sense to go for a question mark first. Alright, so this could be another curse, which I probably should take just to get the do it all a little better. So let's do Infinite Blades, Cloak, and Dagger. And then Shiv shiv 
Sucker Punch for sure. I do want them weakened. And then um, let's do Bite. And uh, you know what? Backstab is a little too dangerous because it might give me a big attack. So let's keep it limited here. Let's do another Sucker Punch. 12. Endless Agony. Endless Agony. Another 12. Uh, yeah, fine. Let's do Piercing Well here. Wait. Okay. Alright, another 9. Try to get that curse here. 12. There's the curse. Uh, okay, I'll wait. Alright. Yeah, but my strength didn't get updated now. I think it will get updated in the next fight. Uh, do I want to start with choke here? No. Actually, I would like to do predator instead. Let's do backflip. And then predator. And 6 incoming is acceptable. I'll take it. Okay. And then here... Do I want to get rid of the regret? Let me see if I can kill without it, because I can do Bash, Blade Dance, and then the Shivs. Okay, and that is enough. Good. Got a Weakness Push, which I don't think I'll take. Eviscerate, Sneaky Striker, Flying Knee. Let's take the Flying Knee here. Do I? You know what? Because I have Paper Crane, Eviscerate is, or Weakness Push is probably better than the um, the other potion I had there. All right, let's do Question Mark first. Well, let's see what I got. Um, duplication Potion is good. Do I want a power potion? Yeah, you know what? I don't think I need a fire potion here. And I'll keep the power potion until after the transformation. Okay. Oh, uh, that does mean I didn't get enough relics. I'm one short. If I didn't remove that um, vampire relic, right, I would have had enough, but impossible to predict that. All right. Uh, let's do acrobatics. Uh, all right. And then I do want to play the dagger spray, but maybe after I get some gain some strength. Okay. Um, let's do infinite blades, bite, and um, dagger spray. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ten incoming here. Let's do. Um, I think I can kill the backliner, right? And so I can neutralize strike, and then uh, bite does it. And this. Oh, uh, actually, let's see what backflip gives me first, and then let's get a few shifts played. One and two is enough. Good. Okay. Got a speed potion, which I don't think I'll take. And, uh, oh, finally, a collector bonus for uh, Blade Dance. This might be my first collector bonus, which would be a little disappointing. At least I got more than 50 cards, so that's good. All right, 16. Um, let's do backflip, uh, infinite blades, and then the Blade Dance, as well as the all-out attack. Yep. Okay. Not a bad first turn one. Okay, and then here, another Infinite Blades, Blade Dance, Backflip. Yeah, maybe that Backflip wasn't necessary. Uh, let's do the Poison Stabs and the Shivs. Actually, that's enough to kill. Got another Speed Potion. Again, I don't need that. Uh, let's take the Dagger Throw, I guess. Skewer, I don't think it's super necessary here. And then here, let's upgrade probably the Footwork, actually. Yeah, let's upgrade the Footwork. Okay. Alright, Awaken one. So 20 incoming right off the bat. Uh, luckily, I do have the Cloak and Dagger, so that'll be enough. I don't think I'll play the Infinite Blades here. Let's instead target the minions. So let's do Cloak and Dagger, Flying Knee. Okay. Actually, I could have played a few more cards here, right? Just to get the slow debuff going. All right. Uh, let's do Shiv. This does 27, so that's enough. And this Agonies, Shiv, and Backstab for 34. Good. Okay. All right, 30 incoming, all out attack kills, and Dark Shackles allow me to be fully defended. Good. So let's do Quick Slash, Dagger Throw, Slice, Bite, and all out attack. Okay. That was a very well-timed um, Dark Shackles. 20 again. Let's do Blade Dance. Um, wait, I'm sorry. Why do I have consistently a lot of energy? No, that must have been something else. Okay. So, I am fully defender, right? So, let's do acrobatics. Get rid of this. And then probably want to do bash. Okay. Alright. I'm up to 8 strength, which is pretty neat. 12 incoming. Uh, let's do leg sweep. And then blade dance. And then deflect. And then play the shivs. Oh, that's actually enough to kill. Awesome. Alright, let's see what the power potion gives me. Ooh, yeah. After image, actually, I'm going to duplicate that. That's going to help me quite a bit with the amount of uh, zero cost cards I have. 
am I doing on time? Okay, this one's been a pretty fast run. Let's see what I draw first. Okay. All right, and then let's do Blade Dances. Um, hang on, I do need a lot of block here. Let's throw the Weakness Potion, 24. So, hang on, he's already weakened. This would give me 15. Yeah, I think I have to Lex Weave actually, and then Blade Dance, yeah. All right. Uh, maybe that Weakness Potion wasn't necessary. It doesn't matter though, right? Because he has still five turns of weakness. Uh, let's do, do I want to do Choke first? Yeah, I should be able to defend. Let's do Choke, then Regret. Okay, and then I don't even need backflip, right? Just sucker punch and bite. Mm -hmm. Okay, another 10. Let's do, definitely not def uh, the eruption. Let's do acrobatics, get rid of that eruption. Okay, and then I guess I can only do a poison stab, fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. 18. Uh, has to be the leg sweep, right? I don't really have a choice here. Let's do leg sweep and wait. Got lucky I was able to draw that Lex Weave in the first place, too. Okay. Another 18. Alright, this is close. I don't like it. Let's do backflip. Um, and then acrobatics. Alright, I can do neutralize, poison stab, and uh, dagger spray. Okay. Mm hmm. And 10 incoming, uh, deflect this great. I probably should do Calculate Gamble, right? Let's try to get a better hand. All right, that was in the better hand, but fine. Mm -hmm. I'm getting really close. One bad turn. Uh, Predator is good, let's do Deflect, that should be enough. And then Infinite Blades and Predator. Okay, and I feel like next turn with the extra card I should be able to kill, unless I draw a bunch of voids. It's definitely possible. No, luckily not. Okay, Endless Agonies, Shiv. Yeah, I already had 12 strength at the end. All right, pretty good run. I think I perfected everything except for that Book of Stabbing fight. Also happy that I finally perfected the Act 3 boss in the last, I think, three or four days I wasn't able to. All right, seven out of eight elites perfected all um, bosses and then got Encyclopedia and Popper. Popper, I think, was totally justified. I only had like two Adrenalines I missed out on and they obviously didn't help. Now, the saddest thing is that I only have two collector bonuses, one for the... Uh, bites, which admittedly also cost me the I like shiny modifier. So, you know, you gain 25 points, but I also lost 50 from that. And then the other was just the blade dance. I'm a little disappointed. I got close to a few more collector bonuses. Namely, I just needed one more leg sweep and one more sucker punch. But still, those those disappointed. Usually in in a daily like this, I sort of expect more opportunities for collector bonuses. But yeah, barely passed a thousand and got light speed. Uh, one of the rare times, I think. Yeah, basically, I was killing a lot of stuff on the turn one, so that, that definitely helped with the timing. So, oh, look at that. I am sixth, and uh, Vorpal and... Uh, yeah, Vorpal previously had 100 points more. I guess I'm also tied with a bunch of other people. 100 points more? How do? How is that possible? All right, so one way is to, rather than getting the um, bites, to get the um, I like shiny modifier. So that would have been another... Fifth, or an extra 25 points and then i don't know maybe getting lucky with the question mark rooms and getting curses modifier that might be a way uh let me know in the comments what you did if you were able to have some other strategy because i thought i did really well oh i guess i missed the overkill and combo modifiers which i think both theoretically would have been possible but not really with my deck um so maybe maybe that would explain it but yeah exactly 100 points less than than warpal so yeah let me know in the comments if you had a different approach so thanks for watching bye